If you're using Jira on-premise, whether that be data center or server versions, then you know that releases and fixed versions are built into Jira, but what if you can take your releases to the next level? Well, let me introduce to you Votas's release manager, which is guaranteed to take your releases on your on-prem Jira to that next level. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video, and don't forget to check out the links down below as you're definitely gonna wanna start a free 30-day trial to release manager for Jira. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's take a look. So here we are inside of Release Manager. Once you install Release Manager using that link down below, you're going to get a new item in your navigation, which is called Release. If you click on Release Manager, it's gonna bring you to this page where you get to see all your releases. Now, what makes Release Manager different? How is it set apart from the built-in Jira releases and versions that are already in the tool? Well, there's a couple of different things that I wanna talk you through. Number one, this app, Release Manager, complements, it doesn't replace, it complements the existing release capabilities built into Jira. And what do I mean by that? Well, that gets me to my next point, which is the releases in Jira, well, you create your versions and then in your fixed versions, you can use them. And there's some deploying that you can do, quote unquote, right? There's some releasing and some archiving that you can do built in to that release, but it's a very linear thing. It's not very friendly. It is kind of just a pain, right? It's very basic. It doesn't really do a whole lot other than you can add some fixed versions to Jira. And once you add those fixed versions, you're able to, you know, tag them to Jira issues. And then at the end of your release, you can take a look at all your release notes. And this is cool. But releases are usually multifaceted. Multiple teams are usually contributing towards a release, right? And so in that sense, the releases in Jira are very much defined to just that one specific project. So the moment that you actually are in a real world scenario where you have different teams from different projects all contributing to a unified effort, well, the basics go out the window and in comes something like Release Manager. So with Release Manager, you're able to create a release and adding a release is really simple. All you gotta do is click on that big blue button up there. You give it a release name. So this is my product release one, you give it a key. Now this can be whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it a rel one, but it can be anything you want it, right? It doesn't have to look like a key. It can just look like that or it can just have rel. It's all up to you. I'm just gonna give it a one because I'm assuming we're gonna be doing multiple releases. You give it a start date. And so this can be last week and we're gonna go into next week. And then you give it a description. This is my description. Now, one thing that you should note that this description is also your release note. So you can get a little creative here and put additional details in this section. And then you're gonna pick your release manager. This is something different than the built-in Jira because now we have ownership. Now we have somebody who's gonna own this release. So I'm gonna pick Alex. And then we have a release status. For now, we're gonna do active, but notice that we can do release and archive, which we're gonna talk about in a second. You have your access level, which is who can see the releases and specifically which group. So I'm just gonna limit it to the admins for this demo, but obviously you would pick the right groups here. Click on save there, and then you're gonna have your release. So once your release is created, then comes the fun part. And this is where you can either create multiple versions in multiple projects using this button over here, or you can bring in the versions that already exist in your project. So it's up to you whether you know you have this the dog and whaling the tail type of situation. Are you going to already have your versions pre-created? If so, you click on add version, you pick your project, we'll go around down here, you pick your version. These are all the versions that exist already. So I can do one at a time, so I can do that one. And then if I wanna go and bring in from a different project, I can go bring in a version over there. And so I can just click on save. And as you can see, I'm bringing in versions that exist already from different projects. So that's method number one. The other method is for you to just create a version. So you can basically create a version in whatever project you want. So I'm just gonna do like these three here. And once you're there, you're gonna hit save. This is automatically gonna create a version in those projects, so it's super, super easy. So again, you get to pick which way you're gonna go. Now, once you have these versions, right, then the rules of Jira apply. You're gonna still go to the fixed versions, you're gonna add those issues to that fixed version or your effects version, right? But that version now exists, and now you can do your planning, the road mapping, everything that you're accustomed to doing, 
But the next cool part comes when we're ready to release. So when you're ready to release, there's a couple of things that you can do here in the UI. And so you can come to your release and I can click on these ellipses over here. I can see my versions, which is going to take me to the screen we were just on. I can see my issues, which is basically going to execute a JQL and bring me any issues that are in that specific fixed versions that we selected. We can also click on release notes, which is going to give us that notes that I told you about earlier. This one's going to show me that this is my description as I click into it, right? And so super, super easy there. And so once you're ready to actually do the releasing, then you're just going to click in here into your release. You're going to click on these ellipses right here and there's going to be the release project versions. Once you do that, this is going to mark them all released in the projects on your behalf. So you just click save. And that's basically it. At this point, your releases have been released and you are off to the next release. Now, if you wanted to later, once a couple of months have passed, you can go into your released releases and you can start archiving them because nobody wants to have a laundry list of like the last five years worth of releases, right? So you just simply click into your release again. And then this time, the only option that we have is to archive the project version. So we can do that. We'll click on save and this is going to archive those versions for us. And that's it. As you can see, this is a, a much more visual method, but there's actually one last thing that I want to show you here before we leave. So one of the cool things that I also like, and this is only because I'm a very big visual learner, is that this list is cool, but there's a calendar mode and you can see in a more visual representation when your releases are coming up, which I think is a really, really cool feature and it's definitely not included in the out of the box releases. So kind of a cool little feature that allows you to visually see all your releases in a calendar mode so that you can articulate better with your team. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to check out the links down below so that you can start your free 30 day trial. And then finally, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second here and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.